Hello children, welcome to AIMS India's online classes. In today's video from physics subject, motion topic we are going to continue. So in our previous video, we learnt about scalars and vectors. We have learnt about their definition and we have seen some examples and about vector notation we have discussed and uh, types of vectors up to this topic we have completed. So in continuation to that, so let us revise one more time the uh, concepts dis distance and displacement. So distance means length of the path is called distance, length of the path is called distance and its uh, SI unit is meter and its CGS unit is centimeter and it is a scalar quantity because uh, suppose we have travelled in this path from position A to position B. We have travelled in this path. What is the length travelled by us? It is not in definite direction. It is changing at different points. So it is a scalar. It will be having only magnitude like uh, 5 kilometer like that, it will be having only magnitude or only value. Magnitude means combination of uh, numeral and combination of unit. The product of numerical value and the product of unit is called magnitude of physical quantity. So distance will be having only the magnitude. Magnitude means M A Z n i t u d e magnitude means it is a product of numerical value and unit. So it uh, does not depends on direction it is a scalar quantity it is a scalar quantity and the dimensional formula dimensional formula of distances. So dimensional formula means uh, the base quantities we have mass length time we have mass length time as base quantities. The base quantities rise to powers. The base quantities rise to power. It is called dimension. So in distance there is no mass. In the dimensional formula of distance there will be no, no mass. There will be only length, one length. There will be no time. So M0, L1, TO is the dimensional formula of distance, dimensional formula of distance means it has zero dimensions in mass, one dimension in length, zero dimensions in time. Next, displacement. Displacement means the distance only from point A to point B only, the distance only. If we travel in a definite direction, if we travel in a definite direction, then the distance in definite direction is called as displacement. Distance in definite direction is called as displacement. It is a vector quantity. It is a vector quantity. Its uh, magnitude is equal to the length between initial position and uh, final position. Initial position and final position. So suppose uh, we might have travelled in different path, but uh, if you want to calculate the uh, displacement between A and B, actually the original path, the length covered is called distance, but uh, displacement means the shortest possible path, means the straight line joining the initial point and the final point is called the displacement or it is the length between initial point and final point, shortest possible length. So it will be a straight line, its direction will be definite, so that is why it is called as vector. But as per the units, distance and displacement both of them will be having the same units. Its uh, SI unit is meter and uh, CGS unit is centimeter. It is a vector and dimensional formula also same. The dimensional formula of dis displacement also M0, L1, T0 dimensional formula also same. Next we have a speed. Speed means the rate at which 
the particle covers a distance along a given path. Means the particle is uh, covering some path from A to B, but at what rate, with uh, how much speed it is changing its position, whether it is it moving slowly or is it moving fastly, that rate means the length covered based on time, based on with respect to time, with respect to time, if you consider time while calculating the length covered by the particle, in consideration to time, we are calculating means whenever we are using the quantity time, then it is called rate, the rate at which a particle covers a distance, means distance by time, how much distance covered in how much time, so that is called, that ratio is called speed, that ratio is called speed. So, speed depends on distance. So, distance means it never depends on direction. It is a scalar. Time also a scalar. So, distance by time, the ratio will also be a scalar. So, speed also a scalar quantity. As it is depending on uh, uh, scalars. And the unit of speed is the formula of speed is distance by time, where distance is measured in meters, time is measured in seconds. Time is measured in seconds, distance is measured in meters, time is measured in seconds. So, meter per second. It is the SI unit of speed. How many meters it has traveled in how many seconds? Or if we calculate in CGS system, distance centimeter time second, centimeter per second. So, these are the units of speed or in general usage, we will use the unit called kilometer per hour, kilometer per hour. In the bikes or in the carts, in the vehicles, they will give the units in terms of kilometer per hour, how many kilometers it has traveled in how many hours or it is also written as kmph, kilometer per hour. This uh, meter per second also, we can write it as meter per second, if there, is, if there is meter per second means, here s power 1 is there, if it go to numerator part, s to the power of minus 1. So, we can write it as meter second to the power of minus 1 or centimeter second to the power of minus 1. So, speed is a scalar quantity and the dimensional formula of speed is distance means it is nothing but length, time means it is nothing but t. So, there is no mass, there is one length, there is one t in the denominator part, if it go to numerator t power minus 1. So, m0 l1 t minus 1 is the dimensional formula of speed dimensional formula of speed. So, the other units of speed are kmph, kilometer per hour. Next, velocity. The rate of change of displacement is called velocity. If we consider, uh, if the body is traveling in uh, different directions, then the uh, length covered by it in how much time? or distance by time is called speed. Suppose, if the body is traveling in straight line, if the body is traveling in straight line, then length covered by the body by time is called displacement, sorry, velocity. So, velocity means if the body is traveling in straight line, straight line, then uh, displacement covered by it in how much time? how much displacement covered, this ratio is called velocity, speed equal to distance by time, scalar. So, velocity equal to displacement time, as displacement is a vector or velocity is having definite direction, it is called as a vector quantity, it is called as a vector quantity. So, the rate of change of displacement is called velocity. If you write here distance, it will be speed. 
if we mention here displacement, it will be velocity. Or we can also define velocity in another manner. Speed, speed in, speed in definite, speed in definite direction. Direction is called velocity. Speed in definite direction is called velocity. So the units will be same. SI unit is meter per second, CGS unit is centimeter per second, velocity is the vector quantity, dimensional formula also same. So while using speed, you should not use displacement because speed is a scalar, depends on distance which is a scalar. But velocity is a vector, depends on displacement vector. Next slide. So, change of velocity, change of velocity. So, here velocity of a particle changes when its uh, magnitude changes or direction changes or both magnitude and direction changes, both magnitude and direction changes. So, a particle means when the particle is going in straight path with the uh, 5 meter per second speed, 5 meter per second speed. So now, now after crossing B, if its velocity becomes 6 meter per second, then there will be change in the magnitude of velocity. This change we can observe. Previously it was 5 meter per second, now it was 6 meter per second there is change in magnitude of velocity. Uh, in such case, we can observe change of velocity or if it is going towards east from A to B, suddenly it has taken a turn towards south, B to C. So, because of direction changes here, so change in velocity we can observe or it has uh, both changes happen previously 5 meter per second, now the speed is 6 meter per second, previously go, going towards east, now going towards south, both magnitude and direction changes, then also change of velocity we can observe. So, change of velocity we can observe in three cases, only if the magnitude changes, only if the direction changes or both magnitude and direction changes. So, change of velocity symbol delta v, delta, delta stands for change, v bar, v bar stands for uh, velocity vector, so change in velocity vector equal to v f bar, v f bar, final velocity vector minus v i bar, initial velocity vector, here f stands for final velocity vector, here i stands for initial velocity vector. So, the formula for change in velocity is delta v bar equal to v f bar minus v i bar. So, change in velocity is absolute. In uh, any frame, any inertial frame, about this you will be learning later. So, in any normal frame, in any normal frame, if the observer is outside, suppose there the vehicle is moving, the vehicle is moving and some change in velocity happened inside this frame, inside this frame, the observer may be outside the frame or inside the frame, wherever he may be. The change of velocity does not depends on the observer, does not depends on the observer. So, it is called absolute. Its value is always same. So, that is why it is called absolute. Absolute means whose value does not depends on observer. In some cases, if the person sees from in outside, there will be one change of velocity or uh, one value from sees from inside, there will be one value. That is called relative. That type of values are called relative values, which depends on observer. Like uh, uh, a person moving in a railway, <coughs> a person moving in a train, a person moving in a 
try for him uh, outside trees and uh, outside trees and uh, other objects appears that they are they are moving if the person is inside the train but for the person outside the train the tree will be standing but the person for the person inside the train tree will be moving so this kind of uh, things are called relative which depends on observer but here change in velocity is uh, a absolute quantity fixed quantity which never depends on observer <coughs> next acceleration so the change in velocity so whatever change in velocity so far we have discussed how much change of velocity happened in unit time if we consider with respect to time then it is called acceleration without time it will be only change in velocity but if you consider with the respect to time then it is called acceleration so acceleration means change in velocity by time change in velocity symbol delta v bar by time delta v bar means v bar minus u bar by t or v of bar minus v i bar instead of v of bar they have taken it as v bar instead of v i bar they have taken it as u bar where v stands for final velocity u stands for initial velocity v bar minus u bar by t so as a change in velocity delta v bar is a vector acceleration is depending on vector so acceleration is also a vector so the direction of acceleration will always be in the direction of change in velocity and the dimensional formula of acceleration is change in velocity is nothing but it is also a velocity whose uh, unit is meter per second by second so meter per second by second this uh, in numerator denominator is there that will come come down meter per second into second or meter per second square or m s to the power of minus 2 the unit is m s to the power of minus 2 in cgs system centimeter s to the power of minus 2 and the dimensional formula is meter means length one length second means time t power minus 2 and there is no mass so m0 l1 t minus 2 is the dimensional formula of acceleration so this is about acceleration general next one next about average acceleration so if the velocity of a particle remains constant as time passes so we are traveling first uh, one hour time completed velocity 50 km per hour again next one hour time passes but still the velocity is 50 km per hour means throughout our journey if the velocity of the particle remains constant as time is passing but the velocity is not changing we can say that the body is moving with uniform velocity uniform velocity or if the if the velocity changes with time first in the beginning the velocity was 40 km per hour next uh, 50 kmph next uh, 60 kmph after that 50 kmph after that 40 kmph like this if the velocity is changing as time is passing then we can change tell that the body is accelerated the body is accelerated means the velocity of the body changes the velocity of the body changes the velocity of the body changes so in this case if you want to calculate average acceleration for a accelerated body for a uniform velocity body there will be no change in acceleration acceleration is same sorry velocity is same zero acceleration for that we cannot calculate average acceleration because it is zero 
But when the velocity changes with time, we can tell that it is accelerated, accelerated and we can find the average acceleration with the formula. So, uh, final velocity minus initial velocity by uh, final time minus initial time or delta v bar change in velocity by delta t change in time, change in velocity by change in time, how much velocity changed in how much uh, time interval. If you calculate this, we will get off, we will get the average acceleration. Uh, units, dimensions and all same like acceleration. Suppose, suppose the time interval, suppose it is 4 seconds, suppose here 40 kilometer per hour at 4 seconds, this is 5 seconds, this time is 1 second interval, very 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 less time. If the, suppose if this made into 10 parts, if this made into 10 parts, 10 parts, 1 part means 0 0.1 second, very 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 less time. Suppose like this small interval of time, which we cannot observe. So, on the bike, when we are traveling, if we raise the accelerator, if we raise the accelerator, immediately the speedometer changes. If we raise the accelerator, the speedometer 0 to 150 markings will be there. Suppose before accelerator, rise of accelerator, it will be at 40. If we raise the accelerator, immediately its uh, value will changes, which shows the instantaneous speed at that moment means at that instant when we raise the accelerator at that particular instant what is the velocity means the gap between these two is very 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 small we can neglect so that is called or in this small interval of time suppose if it is 0 0.1 seconds in this small interval of time how much velocity changes? 40 to 45, 5 kilometer per 5 meter per second. In how much time? 0 0.1 second. R means R suppose it is 41, 40 to 41. 1 meter per second velocity change we have observed in 0 0.1 seconds. Like that, very small change of velocities we have observed in very small intervals of time means dv means very 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 small small d dt means very 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 small almost 0 0.1 seconds means it's not uh, time gap we can uh, consider it as a particular instant at that instant instant means um, at that moment so if anything if you take one needle and uh, uh, with that needle, if you pinch your hand, you will give instant reaction. You will give instant reaction. The There will be some time gap uh, uh, before uh, while I am taking the needle and pinching your hand. Uh, in, during that pinching, there will be a time interval involved. But it is very, 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 very small. We can consider it as particular instant, particular instant. In that particular instant, how much small amount of velocity changed in how much small time interval, that is called, that ratio is called instantaneous acceleration, instantaneous acceleration. So, okay children. So, remaining topics we can learn in our next video. So, that's all for today children. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates. Visit our website mstudy.in 
for information regarding previous online classes, quizzes, worksheets, activities, English classes, coding skills. Thank you, Sharon. Have a good day.